What is going on guys? Welcome to your 34th chemistry tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about single displacement reactions or some people like to call them substitution reactions. Why? You'll probably figure that out later on but first I want to show you guys this. I thought this was pretty funny. I was looking at Reddit the other day and if you don't know what Reddit is, it's pretty much a website where people can post like funny pictures and videos and articles and I don't know it's just like a funny website so anyway someone posted a picture and another guy comments he goes this picture is perfect may I use it for future purposes the other dude goes no and the original commenter goes I'll take that as a yes regards and I just <laughs> uh, sometimes the comments are funnier than the uh, posts themselves so that was the case actually made me lol kind of embarrassing but I did it so now okay guys focus focus let's get back to uh, chemistry here single displacement reactions. What is it? Why do we need them? A single displacement reaction is often called a substitution reaction because, like I said before, it's basically when one element replaces another. So let's go ahead and take, it a, take a look at a real easy example. Say you have something like lithium. Now lithium can combine with Na, which is sodium, and Cl, which is chlorine, and what can happen is this lithium can basically replace the sodium and that's because the lithium is more active so you end up with Li Cl plus some sodium so if we take a look one more time basically the sodium right here got replaced and that's all that happened it got replaced by the lithium and that is because remember they say lithium is the more active element so that's why it basically replaces it and bonds with the chlorine instead. And we don't even need to balance this because we just have one of each. So there you go. There's your balancing right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at a little, not harder, but a little more complex equation. So say we have a element of zinc. So zinc, and it's going to go ahead and combine with some hydrochloric acid, two molecules of it. So hydrochloric acid is actually H my twos and z's look really close huh might want to find a way to fix that but anyways this is a two this is a z so anyways we have two molecules of hydrochloric acid which is hcl and whenever they react what happens is the zinc is going to go ahead and replace the hydrogen so we have zinc bonded with chlorine and we also have two leftover uh, hydrogen atoms so if we go ahead and balance this because it's a little uh, bit different, we have one zinc on the left hand side and we have two hydrogens and we have two chlorines. Now of course we want to make sure we started with the same amount of stuff that we ended up with. So let's go ahead and count our zincs. One zinc. Our hydrogens, we go ahead and we have two of those still. And our chlorine to those. Simple enough. So basically remember the concept of a single displacement reaction is when you have a compound and remember two or more elements bonded together and another element comes in and replaces one of them. So in this case we had hydrogen bonded with chlorine and we end up with zinc bonded with chlorine. Simple enough okay you got it so now if you guys are like this crap is easy let me go ahead and throw something a little bit more difficult at you let's say that we have and this is your homework assignment so pay attention you have two lithium atoms and you go ahead and what can I bond this with two hydrogen molecules so H2O what you're gonna end up with is two hydrogen and also how am I gonna write this Okay, you end up with some amount of lithium bonded with oxygen and hydrogen. Your job for the evening is to find out how many molecules of lithium, oxygen, and hydrogen you have. So you need to balance this side right here, and you need to balance this side right here, and you're going to find out the coefficient from that. So there's your little tip. First person to find out the answer gets to donate. I'll say, I don't know, you can donate $15 to me if you want. So that's your prize. You get to send me some money. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go on Reddit. And uh, remember, first person to come up with the answer wins. I'll see you later.